So everybody, welcome to uh, another edition of our Drive Time video calls, and very, very happy to welcome a good, very good friend of ours, of course, Jamie Moore. Jamie, how you doing, mate? Yeah, good, thank you. How are you, Ian? Not too shabby, not too shabby. I can see you parked yourself good, good. In, in one of the race cars there. Yeah, sat in the Mini at the moment in the workshop. Yep. Very nice, very nice. Now, Jamie, obviously I've known you for quite a while now, so I know what you do in motorsport, but for those who uh, perhaps are not quite so au okay fait with what you do, how are you involved in motorsport? So, um, between me, myself and Nick, who actually had on the drive time a while back, um, we run a motorsport team um, trying to get you know new drivers involved in motorsport, entry-level stuff. Um, as well as that, I've got my own workshop that I run Monday to Friday, uh, doing performance mods, um, as well as just standard service and repairs. Now, I've been down to your place a couple of times, I know, Jamie, and there's a few nice motors yes. uh, down there. Just quickly, how's the uh, Audi coming along? Uh, I'm afraid it still hasn't changed much <laughs> since you last came down. We just, we kind of, we put the budget on hold for that at the moment, obviously, with the current crisis yeah. that's going on. We, you know, we don't want to spend the money where we don't need to at the moment. So it's on hold. We're still aiming for getting it done by the end of the season. Um, but yeah, currently on hold. No, that's understandable. No, look, Jamie, let's talk motorsport then, shall we? Let's get a bit more into that. So what sort of series do you get involved with? So from the start, we've been involved heavily with the MSV Track Day Championship. Um, obviously, then went into the Super Cup and Track Day Trophy with that as well. Um, the Enduro KAs from the start. Um, we've played around with some other stuff, other series up to now as well. But they're our main current um, series we're running. Fantastic. Now, look, Jamie, you've obviously done uh, a little bit of driving yourself. You obviously go to trackside a lot. I know you're away a lot at the track. Where would you say yes. is your favourite place to go to? Where do you still get a bit of a, a bit of a knot in your stomach where you think, oh, I'm going to that particular track? I really like Sneston 300 circuit and Sneston circuit. Okay. Um, I haven't done any racing myself, to be fair. Haven't had a chance. Been just busy doing the, the running <laughs> side of things. We let Nick you know, dip his yeah. toes in every so often. But um, yeah, I, I, as a track day track, I really like the 300 circuit at Snet. Okay, I don't, do you know what? I think you're the first person who's actually said that. Yeah, I haven't really, to be fair, I haven't really gone on many track days, you know, with many circuits. If we get a chance, I'll go out, but I don't, um, it's not my main priority. No, that's understandable. So, well, let, let's make it your priority. Let's live in fantasy land a little yeah. bit here, Jamie. We're at Snetterson, you and me. And you obviously work with a lot of performance cars as well. You, you tune them up, you do a lot of work. Yes. So let's say we've got 10 laps around Snetterton 300 and you can take out any car you want. Road car, race car, past, present, you name it. You're in complete fantasy land. What are you taking out? I, I like my BMW, so I'd quite like to go out in a M4 GTS. Um, one of my, my close friends has got one, actually, and I haven't actually had a chance to drive it yet, but really like the look of them um, and, you know, yeah, I think that'd be a good fun car to take around. Fantastic. Now, Jamie, obviously involved in motorsport an awful lot. Uh, a few things have probably gone wrong during the times. You probably had a few moments where you thought, oh, no, I can't believe I did that. Or I can't believe I said that. What's been your most embarrassing moment? Uh, I mean, from a, a team point of view, we, um, we've, we you know, we've, we've made some mistakes. We've had some uh, dramas over a few weekends. But um, probably, uh, I'm not going to name the person who it was, but I think you know who it was anyway goes by the name of Lockie. Um, he, uh, it, it was a, the first round of the KAs last year. Oh, I know what's um, coming. <laughs> yeah, we'd had an eventful few days. Uh, we'd actually had to put an engine in a car overnight um, because it had blown up on the, the test day, the, on the Friday. The guys had gone and got a P1 on the grid in Quali, um, and we need to do some final bits in between. And we, uh, one of our guys accidentally left an oil drain tray underneath the car um, with four litres of engine oil in it, which um, may have been dragged around the circuit on the, on the uh, opening laps uh, for, for gridding up. So yeah, that was quite embarrassing and not something we want to repeat again. I but remember, it I, happens, yeah. I remember that well, Jamie. I was stood at the first corner of Donington Park uh, getting ready to film. And I'm like, what, what's going on? And I heard in my ear that um, all the marshals suddenly came out and put it Stuff yeah, that was a head in hands moment. Um, <laughs> yeah, felt really bad about that, but you know, yeah, uh, look, we were mind. tired and worn out. I, I do feel bad for bringing it up again, but hey, we, we always like to have a little. <laughs> <laughs> now, look, Jamie, let's yes. um, let's just talk a little bit about Moore's Motors. Um, now, obviously, you've been involved in it a long time. How did it all start? How did you get into this sort of um, 
gig, I suppose. Yeah, so I've been a mechanic since I left school. Um, used to be mobile, running out of the back of a van um, around my local area. And uh, I knew of Nick through, I was good mates with his cousin. Right. Um, and Dylan as well. They um, they were racing at the time. Nick had a Mark III Golf and Dylan had a Subaru Impreza. Um, I, got in, I invited along to a Silverstone Track Day tra- uh, Trophy event. Nice. Um, just to have a little day out, something to do. Hadn't really been involved massively up to that point. And they had a bit of a drama that day with drive shafts going. Dylan managed to blow up a gearbox. Um, so I kind of got stuck in as I do. And from there, we just, the friendship grew. And uh, the passion for motorsport grew, and since then, you know, we've teamed up with each other, and uh, we are where we are now. Fantastic. Now, look, if somebody is uh, sort of thinking about getting a drive for 2020, or perhaps people might be thinking about 2021 now, uh, you have drives available, don't you? Yes, we, we've we always aimed at trying to get people into the motorsport um, with the, the arriving drive cars, yeah. Fantastic. And what, again, just to remind everybody the series that they can race with you in, I mean, at, at this, we've got cars eligible for a lot of stuff, but um, mainly the Track Day Trophy, Track Day Championship, Super Cup, the Enduro KAs, as well as some of the other endurance stuff with the cars we've got. Super. And if somebody's interested, Jamie, finding out more, how do they get in contact with you? Uh, we've got the Facebook page, uh, forward slash Moores Motor, or, or on Instagram, Moores Motors, as well as the website, uh, moors-motors.co.uk. Fantastic. Now, look, finally, you asked me to not ask you this question. Uh, because this, this stems yeah, from you, this question. Infringements, this yeah, copyright infringements. Yeah, I must admit to everybody, uh, I think I might have stolen this from Jamie. So, for Jamie, <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, That's uh, okay. Now, Jamie Moore, of course, if you were a biscuit, what biscuit would you be and why? I mean, I'm not too sure, but I have been told people people say I'm a jammy dodger. So, that's what I'm going to go with. Maybe just to play on words with my name, but yeah, I'm a jammy yeah, dodger that's guy. True. That's true. And what we will be doing, Jamie, as well, is publishing the results of the Drive Time Biscuits at the end. Yep. So we will find out what is the most popular biscuit across uh, motorsport in the UK. Now, look, Jamie, it's been a pleasure. It's always uh, lovely to see your face. You're very, you live very local to me as well. So once we're through this, we'll definitely go for a beer. That's it. Go for a beer. Uh, up the old 100%. Crooked Bullet. That's just up from your workshop, isn't it? So we'll have a nice pint up there. And, uh, Sounds like a great idea. Stay safe, won't you? And I'll see you trackside soon. And you like see you later, Ian, and got everyone else. Bye. Thanks.